Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Today we are painting a portrait with acrylic paints on a small canvas board and believe it or not, I accidentally painted a self-portrait this time. So yes, obviously I used a photo of myself as a reference, but I do that quite often because it's easier to just quickly shoot the motive you have envisioned yourself instead of searching forever for a suitable reference online. Normally I then just start painting and don't even have to try that the portrait doesn't look like me. And a few years ago I tried one or two times to paint myself on purpose, but I failed miserably, let me tell you. And since then I haven't tried again and haven't felt the need to paint myself. But in the end, however, this painting doesn't look 100% like me, but accidentally looks so much like me though that I couldn't say it wasn't a self-portrait. And I think it's pretty funny and also ironic that it turns out better or more similar to my actual face when I don't try. But I have to say that with this painting I really had problems getting the color values I wanted for the skin tones right and I'm not entirely satisfied with the final result, but that's fine I guess. Okay, now I have time to do a little update on what has been going on the past few weeks. Um, I've got COVID. To say that at the very beginning I'm fully vaccinated and I'm always extremely careful because... Okay. Because I know that I get sick quite easily. Yeah, but I got it though, which was pretty unfortunate because there's never a good time to get COVID, of course. But right now it's been especially impractical because it's the end of the semester. I had a lot of appointments um, and I chose to not see 
anybody two weeks before I drove from Berlin back home to my parents because I know I get sick quite easily and I never had COVID before as I said so I knew I couldn't avoid it forever but I've been trying. <laughs> Yeah, so I didn't see anybody and then I got COVID in the train back home, which is a little bit ironic, I think. And I also wore my mask all the time, but right now a lot of people don't wear masks anymore, even though it's a requirement in trains. And back in the last few years when somebody without a mask would sit near me, I would always ask them kindly to please wear a mask but right now there are so many people I can't take out a microphone and say hey everybody would you please take on your fucking masks thank you it's not possible there are too many yeah and I am so careful that I even wear my mask when I'm eating I mean I take it off very quickly take a bite and put it on again so I'm very careful and that's yeah quite unfortunate because I got very sick since I'm vaccinated I got through it quite okay but I was very sick and I think that it's still going to need some time to fully recover I'm still pretty exhausted but now I'm on my way to the semester exhibition I'm very happy that I'm going to be able to at least attend that um, and beforehand I need to be freed of my quarantine so in the next hour I'm going to get my COVID test yeah um, but because I was so sick I couldn't help my team to finish the project I've been the only one in the team that has to do everything online because I now live in Berlin and my uni is in Aachen now that we've been approaching the end and we had to print the magazine and bind it and stuff it wasn't possible anymore to do things online and even if it would have been possible um, I would have been too sick most of the time to do anything so that's pretty unfortunate so I'm happy that I'm at least able to attend the semester exhibition especially because it's the first in-person semester exhibition since 2019 in the winter I think that was the last exhibition yeah so that's quite cool and I also got concert tickets with my brother for giant rooks on Sunday and now we have Thursday I mean I'm negative again finally it's been so long um, but I hope I will feel good enough to attend because as I said I'm pretty exhausted still um, yeah but we've been waiting for that concert for two years almost and I always said it would be such a classic to get COVID shortly before the concert and not being able to attend after we've been waiting two years um, yeah but I am pretty optimistic that it's going to be possible so fingers crossed <laughs> I'm back home, it's so disappointing, but turned out I'm still positive. It was a huge surprise actually, because yesterday I tested negative and I felt better. So I thought, okay, yes, I've been positive for such a long time. I've been feeling better. Of course, I, I thought this isn't a false test, but turned out it's been falsely negative and I'm still positive, so I could turn around and drive back home again. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just really disappointed because I've been very looking forward to that and it would have been really great to see my fellow students again and to be in uni again since yeah, I've been living in Berlin and haven't been able to be physically there. <sighs> yeah, but what can I do? At least I've been able to make it to the Giant Rooks concert and it was so, so beautiful. They played all my favorite songs, even the song Misinterpretations that I was really hoping for. But since I've never seen that they played live, I didn't expect it. And the band plays so well live and is extremely energetic on stage. I mean, you can tell how much they like doing what they do and I always like to see people doing things passionately. Um, yeah, and we had the perfect place to stand because we both didn't want to go right into the crowd, but we still had a very nice spot. We could see everything very well and we had some space around us without so many people, so that was quite nice. Um, yeah, but getting back home after the concert was 
quite an odyssey, keyword Deutsche Bahn, <laughs> but it was also yeah, adventurous and fun and I'm glad to have experienced the day together with my brother. Um, yeah, the concert was definitely worth it. Explosions in the sky, signs you signed. We are alone, we are alone, and always will be. I don't believe in life after death. Once again, Alice Phoebe Lou is doing one of her little park music sessions in Treptower Park here in Berlin. And if you see my latest video, I've already visited there last month, I think, for the first time. And it's super cool that she's doing that on a regular basis. She always announces that one day beforehand, so it's pretty spontaneous. Um, but today I'm able to make it there. So, of course, I'm going to do. I also recently went to see the semester exhibition of the Department of Design at the Berlin University HTW with my friend Emma. I decided that I want to go to a vegan cafe I really like and to work there and I know it's completely unnecessary but I am a little nervous to do that because I've never done that before and even though it's unnecessary I know and the main reason I'm going is because they have an lavender iced coffee I mean I love iced coffee and I love lavender so of course I have to try that um, so this convinced me somehow and the second reason to try this is that since I work from home 
a lot of the times I don't really leave the house except for getting groceries or something for a few days in a row. And even if I don't really mind being home that much by myself, I know it's not the healthiest thing to do in the long run. So yeah, another good reason to go outside a bit more. And the weather is... Oh no, it's been very sunny an hour ago, but now it's very grey, cloudy, it looks a lot like rain. <laughs> but no, I'm not going to use that as an excuse to not go. I'm going to leave and even if I have to do a lot of work, I'm still hoping that I can continue reading my new book. It's called Before the Coffee Gets Cold. I only read a couple of pages and I found it the other day in a bookstore. What the book says, what it's about, really spoke to me somehow and I really like the idea of it, so I hope it will be as good as I suspect it to be. Yes, so I'm excited to continue. Since maybe this is something for you too, this is what the book cover says. In a small back alley in Tokyo, there is a cafe which has been serving carefully brewed coffee for more than 100 years. But this coffee shop offers its customers a unique experience, the chance to travel back in time. And before the coffee gets cold, we meet four visitors, each of whom is hoping to make use of the cafe's time-traveling offer in order to confront the lover who'd left them, receive a letter from their husband whose memory has begun to fade, see their sister one last time and meet the daughter they never got the chance to know. But the journey into the past does not come without risks. Customers must sit in a particular seat, they cannot leave the cafe, and finally they must return to the present before the coffee gets cold. Toshikatsu Kawaguchi's beautiful, moving story explores the age-old question, what would you change if you could travel back in time? More importantly, who would you want to meet, maybe for one last time? Yeah, as I said, the book really spoke to me, and I hope it is as good as it seems, even if it seems quite sad. So I've been requested to do this three dog paintings by a person I don't know in real life but over the years she commissioned me, now for the third time actually, uh, yeah she requested those paintings to be exactly like this with the background colors and stuff so she was very particular and that was kind of easy for me to have a customer that knows so well what she wants. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a great sign of trust to commission me a third time. So I wanted to say a special thanks to her and put more extra gifts in the envelope than normally. It's crazy that she was one of my first customers and yeah, still comes back to me. So I'm really thankful for that and just glad. Yes. So since we are also here to see the things that don't turn out so well, the other night I started with a new lino cut motive, but I really didn't like the motive as a printed result, which was kind of unfortunate because it's quite a lot of work and also very messy, especially the printing process. I really don't know if other people are able to make less of a mess, but I'm not. So I thought, okay, you already have the paint out, you already made a mess, you might as well just make use of the situation and print a bunch of your latest motive, which was the irises. So I printed a bunch of these and now I stocked up and have a little inventory, which is quite nice. So at least it was worthwhile. <laughs> So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for being here with me and I hope to see you very very soon. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and if you like this video. Um, yeah, until next time, take care and goodbye.